quality lowered due to storage. Alright, welcome back to another video of Davian's collection of VHS DVDs, games, and more. Today we're going to be seeing what happens when you put a Fargan disc in a disc player. Today I have a CD player, which can also do other things, such as CD and Bluetooth speaker. And it's by Singing Machine. And it also says it on the TV. So we're going to be seeing what happens when you put a Forgan disc onto the CD player. And I'll be sorting it out from discs all the way going to bonus extras. It's going to be freaking epic. Now let's get on to the video. We're going to be starting out with CD, DVD, Playstations, and Nintendo. So first off is Sports Jams on CD. Jacob R. has some CD players right here. He has CD players right here, especially in his, especially in his car. Now we're going to see what happens if you put it in the CD player. Up it says read, and then here's your track screen. Has the volume button thing right here. Not button the wheel right here. Let's see. It can also play on the TV right here. Disc is compatible. Next up is Sports Center Year in Review 2006 on DVD. I'll be using it mostly for Forgan discs. Now let's see what happens when you put a DVD in a CD player. It says read. And it makes a loud sound when you close Try right here. No disc, it says. And it also says no right here. This is what happens when you don't have a disc or if you have an incompatible disc in it. DVD, unfortunately, is not compatible. Done with CD and DVD. Now I got PlayStation games to show it to you, and one of them is going to be shown for the first time. Starting with is Madden NFL 2004 for the PS1. Yeah, Madden NFL 2004. And with PS1 games, the discs are black, and you can see the reflection right here of the TV right here from the disc. And the camera too. Barely you can see the reflection. Now a cool hint right here f with PS1 games is that some of them have the CD playback feature. It says no file. If you insert a PS1 game that has CD playback such as GTA 1, the one I have in my collection, you will get the idea. Next up is Sonic Heroes for the PlayStation 2, also known as PS2. It's a DVD-ROM game. And th this disc is in pretty good condition so far. Got it in pristine condition for Christmas. Will it work on the CD player? Mm. 
No. It says no disc. Lastly, for the PlayStation, it's got to be the games I'm going to show you for the first time. This is Deus Ex Mankind Divided Day 1 Edition. So here's the front, spine, and back. And it is rated M to mature, meaning that there's blood and violence in it. It's in a blue case as well. Here's the game, and this game here, the disc is in pristine condition. And you can see the reflection of the TV and the camera well. Quickly, it says no disc when I insert it. But otherwise, it does spin. And we now move on to Nintendo. And also it gets its very first spins too. If I get a PS4, I will be starting my PS4 game collection. We got our only GameCube game, which is Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance for the GameCube. It's in a clear case because this thing originally came with the Sonic Underground DVDs. And those are my two that I have left. I destroyed disc one already. Here are the two. They both don't work, by the way, so that's why I'm going to be destroying them. Here's the GameCube game, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. And I'm afraid that the disc is very small. And it's one of my very first GameCube games in my collection. Says, uh, yeah, it says read on the top right here. And no disc alert. Not compatible. Now let's move on to bonus extras. We have bonus extras right here. We got a cassette tape, the Elvis Presley Gospel Treasury, the songs for this tape. We got side one right here, Amazing Grace, Joshua Fit the Battle, How Great That Got. Yeah, there are. Right. Farther along, Milky White Way, and in the garden. On the other side, we have Working on the Building, Take My Hand, Precious Lord, Where Could I Go But to the Lord? He Touched Me, There'll Be Peace in the Valley, and Crying in the Trap. This tape works totally fine in the player. So try this right here. Let's try two sides. Side one. It almost closes right here. And side two. With the cassette tape, the player closes almost. And then we got the VHS, Thomas and Friends, it's great to be an engine. On VHS. Also known as video cassette. Here's the tape, you do know the print date. If my camera will focus. Take a look at the print date. And it is a reprint. When you try to close the player, the tape will slide out. Now that's going to do me with the thing. Seeing what happened to me to put a Forgan disc onto a CD player. This is David's collection of VHS, DVDs, games, and more. Thank you for watching. I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you again in my next video.